Hi guys, welcome to Early Educators. Due to popular demand, in this video I'll be covering UX and HCI related specific master's courses and universities across various countries like US, Canada and Europe. So if you're planning to pursue a master's degree in the next coming years, you have come to the right place. I will be discussing about different universities and their course structures and how to apply for these different universities and what are their application requirements, what are their English proficiency requirements and what kind of statement of purpose do they require. All these different requirements will be discussed in the upcoming few minutes. So let's dive in. Uh, first of all, I want to describe uh, how you want to start your college search. So as you can see here, I've prepared an Excel sheet which has all these different columns like the university name, the course name. It is very important because Masters of HCI program is known by different names. Uh, pros and cons, application deadlines, application fees, documents required for each application, number of LORs, what are the SOP requirements, uh, English proficiency requirements, whether they require you require you to take a test or not and then the admissions link some notes uh, just for your personal purpose so I have tried to include whether it is a one year or two year program in here and just some notes that I felt will be useful for me what is the fee level so for me fee was a very important factor so I kind of classified into medium very high moderate and stuff like that whether the university provides some kind of funding how will you prepare your finances for this so let me just dive deep into the US universities I've shortlisted here. Georgia Tech. Uh, Georgia Tech has two different programs where you can apply for. The first is interactive computing and the second is industrial design. I chose to apply for both because both of them are related to the field of human computer interaction. They have slightly different things to offer but they have very similar courses and you can choose from a wide variety of electives. So it's just a safe bet to apply for both the pro programs thinking that you might get into one. The program is called Master of Science in Human Computer Interaction. It comes within the College of Computing. Building. Some of the pros and cons I felt about this program is I really like the courses. They were uh, they were advanced level courses. I also really like the fact that the labs and centers were really good. Uh, there are many research opportunities if you want to pursue it during the course of two years. It's an at a good location, um, has a wide variety of job opportunities. If you go through the alumni network, they have been placed at really good companies. Also related to funding, there are assistant positions available. So the fee is kind of manageable. It's also not as high as CMU. Some of the cons are that it's a very course based program does not have a thesis option so if you're looking for something very research centric this might not be the one. So you can just see the application deadline, application fees, uh, the documents required here are GRE, transcripts, language test, LOR, portfolio and SOP. I will discuss in detail about what uh, a statement of purpose is and how to write one in my upcoming videos. One very good thing about uh, Georgia Tech I found is that the fees is really manageable and it has RISHIP opportunities where you can get funding for an entire term or an entire year of your education and your tuition fee will be waived. So the next one, University of Michigan. University of Michigan serves a MSI program under the School of Information. Some of the pros are that it's really easy to get in because uh, they accept diverse students. So even if you're not from a design background, there is a good possibility that you might get in. It offers a wide range of courses. They are basic courses as well as some advanced courses. And also they offer a merit-based scholarship during admission itself. So you can plan your finances ahead of time. Some of the cons are that the fees is really high and they do not offer a lot of advanced courses. The first year is filled with a lot of mandatory courses which are basic level UX courses. The application deadline is January 15 and uh, the documents required here are uh, GRE, transcripts, uh, language tests, LOR, resume, SOP and personal statement. So just notice that University of Michigan requires a separate statement of purpose and also a personal statement. These are two different documents that you'll have to write. They have a set of prompts that you can go through in their website. I've also noted it down here. Uh, this will help you prepare these two statements. 
Uh, it's a two-year program, so uh, there is enough scope for you to pursue research options. Also, there are research assistant and TA ship options available, which get you funding for a tuition fee waiver for a term or an entire year. But the fee for University of Michigan is really very high. And let's come to the third university, University of Washington. The course the University of Washington offers is a very promising professional one-year program, which is called MHCID. Some of the pros here are that it's a one your fast-paced professional program. If you are looking to go to a place where you can pursue your master's quickly and then start your job right ahead, uh, get a professional experience in an area which has really good uh, industry market, this is a really impressive university for you. Some of the cons here are that it's not research oriented and it, since it's a very short program, you might not get options to seek research assistantships or to work with a professor. So uh, if you are planning to do some kind of research, this might not be the best option. Uh, the application deadline for this course is January 15th. There is a very good catch uh, here for the English proficiency. If you are able to seek official documentation from your bachelor's program, even if it is outside the US, uh, there is a possibility that you need not submit a TOEFL or an IELTS score and that can be waived if you provide that official documentation. The fee level is moderate considering it's a one year program and you'll be earning really soon. And since it has a very good industry market, you'll probably earn a lot of money to pay off your loan hardly in one year. So this is a really impressive program if uh, you are looking for a fast, quicker professional experience in the US. Let's come to Cornell. Cornell offers an MPS program which is somewhere between computer, engineering, management and HCI. It, it is a technical program and requires you to have some sort of mathematics, computing and technical background. That is somewhat of a con for me because I did not have all those experiences. But it is also a pro because you get to learn a lot of things that are technical which you might not learn in a program that is completely UX or design oriented. It is a one year professional program and uh, is, is a really advanced course. They have written on their website that we expect people who already have experience in the field of HCI and mathematics to apply for this program. Application deadline for this is January 1st. Just notice that this program requires you to submit an SOP and also give an online video interview. The online video interview is a recorded set of questions where you'll get someone asking you a question that is already pre-recorded. You'll get some time to answer that and there'll be a set of at least two to three questions. This interview will last for about 20 to 30 minutes. Cornell does require you to provide an English proficiency test and they do have cutoffs for that. The fee level here is really high. It's about $58,000 per year and there are no funding options provided by the university. Let's come to the next university, CMU. One of the most aspiring universities by most students, it offers two different programs. One is MHCI and one is MIIPS Advanced Degree. So let me go through MHCI first. It is a one year fast paced program, which is uh, oriented as a professional program. And the pros of this program are that it has a great brand name, very good job opportunities, and you can probably earn a lot after graduation because it is a well reputed university. Some of the cons are that it's just a one-year one year program and the fees is really high for a one-year course. It does have a capstone project where you can do some research, but probably because of the duration of the program, you won't be able to do a lot of research. And uh, there, are the, there are no part-time options or funding, any sort of TA ships available at CMU and because it's really fast-paced, the students there do not have the time to seek funding options. The application deadline is January 20th. As you see, they require all sorts of exams and uh, also a video essay is required here. Three LORs are required by CMU and they have cutoffs for English proficiency. As you can see, it's a one year program and the fees is really high for a one year course. Now, let's look at the MIIPS advanced degree. So the MIIPS program offers two different degrees. The advanced degree is for someone with less than uh, five years of professional experience. If you have more experience, you can look at the MIIPS degree or the MIIPS integrated computing degree. 
For the MI IPS Advanced Degree, it's a 16-month fast-paced professional program which comes at an intersection of engineering, design and business. It is a very innovative program and has a hands-on approach to various projects. I really love the way it is structured and uh, how it offers professional experiences within the program. Some of the cons are that it's not research oriented. It's good for someone who is in design management or leadership, but if you are planning to go deep into UX research, this might not be a very good option. The application deadline is January 20th. The fee level is really high and CMU does not provide any funding. There are some other universities which you can also look at. These are some places that I chose not to apply for, but I really encourage you to go and look at these programs. Some of these universities are UC Berkeley, University of Maryland, Stanford, Indiana and MIT Media Lab. Now let's hop on to Canadian universities. There are two major universities in Canada, that is University of Waterloo and University of Toronto, which offer UX and HCI related courses. University of Waterloo has a program called MDEI. Some of the pros here are that it's a really cheap course. It's way cheaper than any college in the US and one of the cheapest courses in Canada. It is a very reputed university, has great job opportunities. I have seen people coming from Waterloo to internships at companies like Google and Apple. The program here is an intersection of business and user research. So it's a really interesting program and it offers on-site workshops, which is a very good professional and practical experience. Experience. The only con I see here is that the job rate in uh, Canada is lower than that in the US so that is something you might have to consider. The application deadline is April 1st which is now extended to May, May 15th. It requires you to submit three LORs and SOP is a 300 to 500 word statement of interest. They do have TOEFL and IELTS cutoff which you can see here and it's a one year program with fees is really really low and in Canada you also have the option of working part time which can cover your living expenses entirely. Now let's look at University of Toronto. University of Toronto offers a master's in information where you can specialize in the field of user experience design. A very related field is also human centered data science which you might be interested in. I will be covering UXD specification here but just be aware that while applying you do not have to specify which specialization you are choosing. You can just apply for the MI program and later when you go to the university take those courses see whichever field suits you best and then you can shift your specialization that way. The pros here are that it is uh, cheaper than the US but still it's an expensive university compared to uh, Canada. It has a diverse set of electives to choose from data science, coding, user experience, user research etc. Uh, the course structure is really diverse and it has a lot of electives to choose from. One important thing I want to highlight here is that it has a 4-8 to eight month co-op option which is an internship that you do with an industry and you get paid for that. The pay is really good, it's almost equivalent to a full-time job so that can really help you pay off your fees for the second year. The, some of the cons here are that the job bureau pay rate is lower in Canada and the fee is higher than other Canadian universities. Application deadline is January 31st and March 31st. I would really advise you to apply by January 31st because at that point you will be considered for entry level scholarships. They do ask for two academic LORs but you, if you have more than three to four years of experience you can also submit more professional LORs. Uh, the SOP has a prompt with two questions. Uh, please have a look at the website for that. They do have a cutoff for TOEFL and IELTS. It is a two-year program and the fees is really low for a two-year program. And since you have an option to do the internship, you can really cover up most of the second year fees. Other universities at Canada are uh, UBC, University of British Columbia and Carleton University, Canada. These also offer HCI related courses. European universities, I am just aware of the TU Delft MSc Design for Interaction program which is really well known in Europe. 
so this is my list of all the universities i applied for and i really encourage you to help me with any other universities you might find that should be included in this list and i'll do the research and add them to this sheet i hope this video was helpful please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel and please please press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos thanks a lot for taking your time goodbye